all the policy uh, of the council. And in fact, there are moves uh, to give elected mayors even more power. Sean Simon, for example, is in favor <coughs> of mayors having direct power over schools in the city, able, including the ability to remove a head teacher, close a failing school, and uh, even set a Birmingham curriculum. There is a big danger in giving all that power to one person, particularly when that one person is largely accountable. <coughs> and you will hear from the Yes campaign uh, that and a directly elected mayor would actually be more accountable. That simply isn't the case for three reasons. First of all, because once elected for those four years, a mayor can't be got rid of. Whatever he or she does, you're stuck with. Secondly, the council itself can only overturn a proposal of the mayor, not with a simple majority as it is now, but with a two-thirds vote. And thirdly, you have to wait. I mean, the mayor is unaccountable, uh, is supposed to be accountable. The mayor is elected, and you then have to wait for four years before you can hold the mayor accountable by having another vote. At least in the present system, you get a chance to vote for a local councillor every year, or at least uh, three out of four years. Uh, I don't call giving the mayor a check, blank check for four years. Uh, be accountable. And in all this, what's the role of local councillors? Well, under the directed mayor, directly elected mayor system, largely <coughs> all the big decisions would be in the hands of the mayor, leaving the councillors, apparently their role would be to uh, see to the delivery of local services. Well, of course, that's vital, but and they can't do even that unless they are able to take the big strategic decisions at the top on which your local services depend. So for all those reasons, don't be taken in, I would say, by the campaign for a directly elected mayor. Vote no in the referendum. But let's build a movement in the city which gives every single person a chance to have their say and influence in the decisions that are made uh, by the City Council. And that means democratising it from the Council House down to your name. Politicians. I've just made a, a list here of some of the things that people have said. They're self-serving, <laughs> dishonest, in it for themselves, corrupt, and my favourite, you can tell when a politician's lying because you can see their lips moving. <laughs> um, <laughs> the mayor, the mayor <laughs> system is fine. Yeah. The problem is, we likely, more than likely, to end up with a politician in that position. Oh. The worst sort of person you could possibly have. Mm. Often understilled. <coughs> if it's a career politician, I've had no experience in, in anything else, basically. Um, and I can understand why they want to be there, because it's actually a first-class ticket on the gravy train. <laughs> 
which is very nice in politics. Apart from that, I can't see any any reason at all. Do I give the impression you're a no then? Like that. Thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you. Okay, any other comments? Yes. Yes, gentlemen over there. I mean, well, just so we need to use the mic. I'm at Boston, political activist and community worker. First and foremost, I'm a young person living in Birmingham. I know this isn't a party political debate, but let me say I am quite frankly infuriated, angry, fed up and frustrated the way in which all of us Brummies, one million of us, have been let down by the current system for year after year after year. We have a leader of the council, dear friends, that can get elected, and I use the word elected in the loosest sense, by over 20 of their own cronies in the back of the council house, can wake up every morning and be able to yield the axe of cuts and do whatever decision they wish to make on behalf of us. I didn't elect Mike Whitby as a leader of the council, nor did you elect Mike Whitby as a leader of the council. We can't remove him, that's his cronies' job. And secondly, one thing that I'd like to make, something that I pick up on from the No campaign, they talk about power being focused centrally and how that's such a bad idea. We're talking about power being focused locally. Every single one of us will get to vote for the elected mayor. We can go out there and hold that elected mayor to account. And I think it's about time that our city was in the hands of Brummies not in the hands of dictatorial figures in the form of the leader of the council. Vote yes for an elected mayor. This city has one of the largest populations of young people than any other city in the world. <coughs> I'm a young person. I don't like the system as it stands. And I think that Sean is absolutely right. Brogies need their city back. Get it out of the hands of the autocrats. Thank you. <laughs> that uh, dissatisfaction with the current system means that the Maya system is a solution. Well, the two things I want to say. Number one is, it's quite, quite clear, not just from what the panelists have said, but from what I've kind of been reading, that this figure um, has going to have more power than you think our current leader has, which he doesn't have the power that the young man was suggesting, the unilateral power to make Cuts. It's because his whole cabinet and because, in fact, the whole majority of our present council is supporting it. So you don't know what power will look like if you think that Mike Whitby has got power. The second thing is it's quite clear that this, uh, the, the mayor system has been suggesting to us the mayor will be less accountable. In other words, we actually can't dislodge him. If we went out in the streets now, let's say, I'm telling you, Mike Whitby would disappear in a day. This mayor is there for four years is less accountable. But even worse than that, the mayoral system that we're, that's being suggested to us is not like the London mayor. The pro people spoke about pride and as if he goes around putting emblazoning the current city. And yet you spoke about a lot of cities that you would like to rival or do as well as. They haven't got mayors. The London mayor has specific Powers, which is totally different to the mayor that's suggested for Birmingham. The Birmingham mayor is actually going to have the whole of the budget. The London mayor just has a few things under his control. So let's be clear on that. The London mayor doesn't decide between schools and old age homes and other things. His powers are much more limited. 
And <coughs> Romans don't like the system, like the people in Stoke. They can say, let's go back to a different way or to the old way. We will not have that. And that's not in the booklet that's been sent down to households. Thank you very much. If we want to change the system from the mayor, can we make that mistake on Ray the third? It seems to me extraordinary to vote for the mayor. It'll take another act of parliament. It's not like Stoke that overturned their mayor. So when they use the word mayor here, it's a very different kettle of fish. And if you think Mike Whitby's got that, you haven't seen anything yet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Without an elected mayor, we get even more 
jobs because that's completely the wrong way to pose it. And certainly, I don't know how many of you want to wait for four years to find out whether you got a job out of uh, Sean's uh, uh, job uh, manifesto. I've got a different answer to that question, which is this, that what we need to do is to have, first of all, a forum in the city about creating jobs and apprenticeships, a forum in which there are councillors, there are employers, there are training organisations, there are officers of the council, and most of all, there are you. There are young people, people who need jobs in the city, and we know that in many areas of the city now, unemployment is getting <coughs> young people, 16 to 24, uh, around the 50% mark. So it's absolutely a crucial question for the city, and it's one that we have to deal with as citizens. Uh, and uh, work with uh, the people we elect, the councillors we elect, to demand that employers deliver jobs and apprenticeships. And I'd like to see a standing committee then set up of representatives of all those interested parties that is going to grapple with that issue, uh, uh, that is going to produce a plan that's going to deliver the goods, and I'd like to see in every constituency local job committees like that that are doing an audit of what the jobs are in the area and what new ones need to be created. That's a practical proposal to deal with. And you don't need an elected mayor to do it. On the contrary, just one sentence, what you need is city councillors with the power to take your message and make it happen. Oh, sorry. No, no, I'm just going to come to him. I've got them all. Don't worry. I can see people from here. So, gentlemen there, and then gentlemen there. And then you. Okay. So, yes. Thank you. Uh, Abby Thompson from Framsley in Birmingham. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Richard for so eloquently putting why we should have a no vote uh, this election. The risk to democracy in Birmingham of having an elected mayor is huge. I agree with this, uh, the young man down here, no system is perfect, and the current system we have is not perfect. But acquainted, uh, linking up the current administration with the political system is not right, it's not accurate, and it's dangerous to get into that mindset. My concern is this, that if we put power in the hand of one person, in the hand of Sean, Giesler, uh, Liam Byrne, Albert Ball, and anybody else who puts themselves forward to be the mayor. We put in our, we put in our faith in one person. Now, Sean may make a cracking mayor. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sean might not. <laughs> but what, what Sean would have if he got in as mayor was the authority to do whatever he pleased. At the moment, there has to be a majority of councillors voting in favour of a decision for it to be passed. A mayor in place needs just one third majority. That is not good for democracy. That will limit the uh, impact of your councillors that you vote for and put hands in one person and say vote no and save democracy in Birmingham. 